in order to help you understand how pissed off I was at the VGAs and at what happened at the interview, I need to intro the video a little bit. You have to understand, I was in email talks for at least a week back and forth saying that I wanted a real interview, a sit down interview. I wanted time with one of the executive producers to ask questions from my audience and from people across the internet that have problems with the VGAs. They knew straight up what I wanted. This is what my third or fourth real interview and I'm going up against the executive producer of the VGAs who he was prepared for me. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. And I approached this thing all wrong. Okay? I tried to be diplomatic. I tried to have an upbeat attitude. I thought that since they were the ones to initiate the invite, then maybe they were willing to actually field and listen to some of our concerns. But no, that's not what happened. That is not the respect that we got. Instead, we got put last, I got dicked around, and I was waiting there all day for him. Guy disappeared, then finally, out of nowhere, I see him show up, he walks across the celebrity carpet, and then he disappears again, I don't know where he is, and then out of nowhere, I literally see him sprinting towards me, and he's like, Joe, Joe, come on, you got two minutes, go. Joe, you got two minutes, go, go. That is not how you start an interview. You can even hear the last bit of it. Listen carefully. So, gonna give me one I, gotta, I gotta make a show, let's go. All right. All right. I wanted to show respect. I come into your place of business, I'm not gonna be ultra angry and tear shit up. No, I'm gonna give you a chance to fight for what you created. I saw him up on the patio, I went directly up to him, I said, hey Jeff, uh, Angry Joe came all the way from Austin, Texas to interview you, man. And he smiled back, he said, Angry Joe. You gonna rip the VGAs this year? And then I said, I gotta see the show first, man. I'll be right over there. Make sure that we get our interview, all right? And he said, yeah, man. That right there. I put my guard down a little bit. I thought this guy was ready and willing to talk to us in a serious way. I was wrong. I was wrong. So, you gonna give me one I, gotta, I gotta make a show, let's go. That little smile he has, That is years of training, and that's proven by what follows next. So first, I'm gonna show you the interview in its entirety, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna comment on it. We're gonna see exactly what happened. with Jeff, who, uh, I have a bone to pick with this okay. particular man, all right? all right? He is the executive producer for the VGAs. You have a lot of questions to answer for it. Now, I hope that... Let's see, who is this? Annalyn McCart. What's to be angry about there, Jeff? Come on. There's nothing to be angry about that. All right. Uh, basically, a lot of people, I feel, uh, think that the VGAs have turned into maybe just one big advertisement, one big marketing thing, and essentially a, a big joke. But year after year, it seems the, the VGAs seem to get better. Um, and I just want to make sure that that consistently happens. So, well, you got to let me know after you see the show tonight. What do you think? Well, I will let you know what I sure think you will. of the You'll show post a afterwards. Video about it. Yeah, I'll but post you know what's great about this show, I think, is that it works for gamers. The gamers love the world <coughs> premieres, and I think it also it it shows the best of our industry to a he, wider, more. Here's the problem uh, with with particular categories like uh, best independent game fueled by Mountain Dew. Well, it kind of takes away. You. Yeah, we don't have that category this show. Oh, so you took away the best independent no, game fueled we by we Mountain took away Dew. Mountain Dew. We have okay. best independent Perfect. game which is being presented by Gear Perfect. Del Toro tonight. Love it, love it. See, Thank that's you. that is improvement. No. That's improvement. Moving along. Basically, why? Jeff. This is the worst environment to conduct an interview in. Essentially. Essentially, 
team. One more question. What do you have? What, what's with the lack of underrepresentation of PC gaming? Where's the MMO categories? It's a huge market, and yet there's no PC games, no strategy games, no MMOs. Well, we have a best PC game category. Civs uh, nominated, StarCraft's nominated. Uh, you know, what happened to MMOs? for Studio of the Year? What MMOs should have been nominated for uh, Game of there the Year? There are year? so many MMOs, uh, like uh, Dungeon Fighter Online. There's one example. Uh, you could also, uh, what other games? Uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy MMO. Yeah. This year. Not this year. Not this year. Exactly. Didn't come out this year. <laughs> okay, okay, stop. Stop right here. You can tell right away this guy's f***ing with me. Final Fantasy didn't come out this year. He said it himself. It didn't come out this year. Yes, it did. He was trying to put me on my back foot the whole interview. Trying to make me answer for things. You run the show. You need to answer for things. If you don't know what MMOs came out this year, no wonder there's no MMO category. What other games? Uh, Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy MMO? Yeah. This year? Not this year. Not this year. Exactly. Didn't come out this year. <laughs> For those that don't know, like Jeff here, Final Fantasy XIV Online, an MMO, came out September 21st of 2010. And that's just Final Fantasy. Why am I answering what MMOs came out this year? You run the awards show, remember? How about Star Trek Online? I know it wasn't very good. Or how about all of the free-to-play MMOs that are released? There are plenty of good ones. Just because it's not a major title doesn't mean it does not deserve an award or recognition. Keep going, Jeff. I... Oh, you, you gonna take another question? Okay, no, so... No, I'm just saying, like, so I get your point about MMOs. You get my point. Who, uh, who selects the games and what are their qualifications to select the games that get uh, uh, voted on this popular Pretty public. Contest. It's an advisory board of uh, journalists from uh, all the top publications. GameSpot, I Are you serious? Payment Weekly, yeah. That's new information to us. It's, that's it's perfect. It's publicly Do you available, think, Joe. If you look online, you can find it. you think that the video game far. awards... So that's basically like a video game awards academy. That's correct, yes. Well, hey, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. You heard it here so first. I, I feel like you need to do a little more research before you attack Look, us this time. Oh, snap. Well, this, is not, this is not how I wanted to do it. Come on, so you got, you, you you're attacking me on the so independent game, which is look, not what it is this year. You're telling me so, MMOs should be nominated for Game of the Year, yet you can't name the MMOs it should be. Look, and you're telling me that you don't know who's voting on the awards when it's public. So, I mean, come on, man, you have these rants. Look, but they're look, 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 they're not thinly veiled, okay? Basically, I think that your show appeals to the lowest common denominator amongst gamings. Not every gamer is a, is a slobbering idiot sitting on his mom's couch. But That's what you appeal to. Back in 2002, you opened the show with Jenna Jameson basically saying that she's going to just take off her clothes. Do you think that's the kind of content that real gamers want in their premier gaming show? That's 2002. I think it's a new show. We've when did you? When, when were you the executive producer? I started, uh, I, I'm executive in charge of publisher relations starting, I think, maybe 2007 or so. 2007. Okay, so you weren't responsible for that. Nothing to do with Okay. That. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you have because I'm all I want to do is improve the VGAs. Thank okay. You well, you watch the show. You let me know what you think. And we'll have another conversation. If there's, the there's just a few more email questions. Would you take email questions? And absolutely, maybe because sure. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you, me. Jeff. All right. Guy came at me hard. He really fucked with me, you know? With the environment over here. Damn, man. It really pissed me the hell off. Damn. His research. He was prepared. He was ready for me. That very first thing, he has me on my back foot right there. You have two minutes. Go, go. I realize I'm not going to get all of my questions answered, but I'm hoping to at least have five minutes, ten minutes. Ideally, I would want a sit-down interview that I originally requested 15 minutes. But no, two minutes. Joe, go, go. Two minutes. He knew exactly what he was doing. He got me on my back foot. Maybe he expected me to come over there and hit him hard. And I went about it all wrong. The way I went about it wrong was to try to be diplomatic. I shouldn't have been diplomatic. I should have been angry right from the start. And as the interview went on, that's when I got angry. Because I realized what the hell he was doing. That he was just f***ing with me. You straight, straight up with me, disrespecting me. You see it in his eyes, in his fake ass smile. 
when he's looking up and left and right, not paying attention. Come on, Joe. Is that all you got, Joe? Come on, you need to be prepared, Joe. I had an opening that was very harsh, but after that little meeting that we had at first, I said, you know what? Let me be diplomatic. Let me let him know that, yes, I don't like your show, but I do think it's getting better year to year. But that doesn't excuse what has happened in past years. And that was the problem, that I was bringing up past years with him. Because that's so easy, that's so obvious that you can shut that down immediately. It's not in this year's show, Joe. Did you see this year's show, Joe? Have you seen this year's show, Joe? Well, after you see the show, tell me what you think of it. That's fine, but somebody needs to answer for the things that have happened in years past. He knew this is not an environment to conduct an interview in. He knew to come up at the last freaking second and put an extreme time limit on me, to put me on my back foot. And in addition to that, instead of saying, you know what, I'm gonna give you two minutes, but I'm gonna give you a very focused two minutes, look, look at the way he conducted himself. Constantly looking off, looking at the celebrities. Who gives a shit about Dane Cook? Can you believe this guy? And after this interview, after being treated that way, I, I was in complete shock. You know, I, I, I tried to go in there diplomatic. I tried to be polite. And that was the mistake right there, trying to be polite. I felt f terrible. I was supposed to be the champion of the people. Go there, ask some hard questions, and get some solid answers to them. Make him answer for these things. And instead, we get this. And I was really upset afterwards. I really was. And they, got, they rushed us to this press room with like this stand where people would, would stand after they got their awards. We can ask them questions. And I sat there and I was just, I was just marinating, just fuming. And I let it be known what happened. I, I, I was talking to all of the press members what just went down. They knew about the interview between me and Jeff. And I was like, man, I must look really bad. I must look really bad, like I let a lot of people down. And then I, I took my camera and I was looking at the footage and I was like, I need to see this. I need to see what happened. And I was looking at the footage and then I really looked at it and I said to myself, wow. Wow. You can see this guy. You can see his attitude and the way he's treating me. Does he not realize that I represent you guys? That I represent a bunch of core gamers that have serious concerns with the show and this is how he treats us? He thought I just some random guy off of YouTube or some blog who nobody watches. That he could just fly in here, treat like that, shut me up and then send me back. Like I wouldn't put up the footage if he destroyed me in the interview. But here's the thing, after I reviewed the footage, he didn't destroy me in the interview. It was like two juggernauts going against each other. And that's when Tom said this. He's like, Joe, don't be down on yourself, man. Look at the way he's acting. You got him right where you want him. He knows who you are. He called you out here for a specific reason. He was ready for you. And this is how he treats you? And he comes out looking like a complete douchebag. So, give me one minute. I, I gotta make a show, let's go. Alright. He is the executive producer for the VGAs. You have a lot of questions to answer for it now. I hope that... That is improvement. That's improvement. Okay. Moving along. Basically, why... Jeff. Yeah, the it's independent basically, game, which is look, not what it is this year. You tell me MMO should be nominated for Game of the Year. You can't name the MMO, so it should be. Look, and you're telling me that you don't know who's voting on the awards when it's public. So I mean, come on, man. You have these rants. Look, but they're look, look, veiled. look. They're not thinly veiled, okay? Basically, I was livid, livid after the interview. And I went up to the lady in charge of the press room and I said, can we get Jeff back here? He wasn't planning on coming back here. He's there because I asked that lady to go and grab him. She said, yeah, sure. He wasn't planning on coming here. Yeah, we can get Jeff. And she goes off and she gets Jeff. We'll see, we got, got the big award still to come. 
sure, yeah. There's an advisory board that selects the nominees and also the winners, so it's all the, the top gaming publications uh, from mainstream publications like USA Today and Entertainment Weekly on to uh, gaming publications like IGN, Game Trailers, GameSpot, uh, Game Informer, all the big magazines. So every, everyone plays the games in advance of their release uh, because the show's in December. We want to make sure that everyone has fully played through the games before they vote, and it's always hard to think consumers will play through all these games uh, by the time the nominees are announced in November. Yeah. Next act. We announced oh. Blinks. Oh, you didn't know about that one, right? We didn't find out. Yes, Angry Joe. Have you ever considered like a live bout between like the best fighting game players in the world, like in an upcoming fighting game like Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Instead yeah, of maybe, we, instead we of maybe one of the more musical talents that don't really have a whole lot to do with gaming, like My Chemical Romance? Actually, those guys are big gamers. Oh, they yeah. have they have songs and a lot of games. I mean, they're in Guitar Hero, Rock Band. They have the opening song, which Planetary Go is in Gran Turismo 5. So that's why we had them here because there's that real link to gaming. So what about uh, the uh, the bout though? Do you think that might be a good idea? Have a ballot? What do you mean? Uh, a bout between the. Oh, a bout. Okay. Uh, you know, great suggestion. We'll we'll look into it. Anything else, guys? Uh, so we got. I, I did notice a lack of more. PC gaming. And, uh, you asked me this on the red carpet. It I know, hasn't but changed. Do you think that you're going to correct it next year? Or, uh, for example, like a fighting game is missing this year as well when you have four categories for music games. Best soundtrack, best music game, best original score. It, it, no, best original score is not for music game. Red Dead's not a music game. Uh, you have best original song. Far Away is not a music game. We have a, one music game category. We have the best PC game category too. The best soundtrack category seems like the best music game category. It seems like the same thing. So you're, you're, I mean, I don't... Use of song. There's also another category, best use of song in the game. I'm just thinking maybe these could be cut down and you could do a fighting game or a PC game. Or we do have a best PC game category. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but I'd go check out the website. All right, take care. <laughs> Woo! Anything else, guys? I, yo, yo, G, check yes. this out, man. Like, I know, um, I real talk. I was talking with Evan Wells, right, and I mentioned that um, I heard that in Uncharted 3, they may be a fort. Now, I wanted to come at him hard. I wanted to say, Jeff, hey, you know in our interview back there? Yeah, Final Fantasy came out this year, buddy. But no, I didn't want to do that. I was still wanting to be polite and ask questions. So I asked him about PC gaming again. You know, and Tons of Fun made a great point. Chris Tons of Fun was my cameraman. He made a great point. He said, you know, as a PC gamer, I feel completely left out of the VGAs. And so I was pressing on that point. I was like, where are the PC games? I said, where is the PC category when I meant to say, where is the MMO category? Check the website, Joe. Check the website. It's, really, it's freely available and widely known on the website. Do your research. And you know what's funny about that? He's like, you know, you should know that. Do your research. But nobody knows that. One of the other people in the press room actually asked the question about who selects the games and what are their qualifications. The very same question that I asked in my interview. Because nobody knows that. We do have a best PC game category. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but I'd go check out the website. All right, take care. <laughs> Woo! Anything else, guys? Oh, is that right? Go to the website, okay. Well, I guess the website will explain why there's no fighting game category, why there's no MMOs, and why there's a serious bias towards console games. I'm sure the website lists that out in plain English. I want a real interview with you, Jeff. Thank God he agreed to the email questions. I'm gonna contact him, and we're gonna get some of these serious concerns addressed. <laughs> you can tell how annoyed he is. You can tell I, I got to him. You can tell that I have got to him. Maybe he doesn't like being asked hard questions. He thinks it's reflecting badly on everything he's created here. It doesn't. He's used to softball questions like, Whoa, that was an awesome game announcement. Let's talk more about that game announcement. No, let's talk more about the show, the integrity of the show. Neil Patrick Harris winning the best voice actor? Nathan Fillion, who is a badass and God bless him, has three lines, maybe all of two lines, in Halo Reach and he's nominated? And a bunch of useless categories, like four or five music categories, that pretty much cover the same thing, that you can cut one off and put MMO gaming in there. MMO gaming is a huge market. 
Hell, Felicia Day even agrees with me. If you haven't seen my interview with Felicia Day, you need to go and check it out. She pretty much echoes everything I'm saying. Felicia Day knows what she's talking about. If you don't believe me, Jeff, or take me serious, take Felicia Day's word for it. Show, show it, show it. I agree, I think there should be an MMO category. I mean, I guess there's an RPG category, but it's really different. I mean, a single player yeah, RPG is completely different from an MMO, and I think there are a lot of unrecognized games that are out there. Like, um, it's the same thing though with like voice acting. Like, they tend to nominate only people who people recognize. I mean, I'm probably the least recognizable of the category, but there's some amazing, amazing actors who you just wouldn't recognize their face, but their voice is in all the games, and they should be re recognized just as much as people who are more faces. That's you see, Jeff, I don't hate you, dude. I don't want to disrespect you in your own house. All I want to do is make the VGAs better. But other than that, other than the fact of feeling really down and disappointed, like I didn't represent you guys in the best way possible, uh, other than that, I recovered. I tried to do my best. I got I got a few celebrities. I was in the very last spot, so a lot of celebrities were tired by the time they got to me. But I got as many as I can, and I've got footage of all of those. That's coming up next. I got some really cool stuff from the celebrities. And to be honest, I'm glad I went. I need to go. I need to be your voice on the floor. So, if you have anything that I didn't notice, because to be honest, I didn't see the whole show because I was I was running around trying to get Jeff back, seeing if I can get an actual sit down interview. I was doing a lot of different things. I caught a lot of things on the show, but I have yet to see exactly everything. I'm gonna watch it on the DVR and I might come back with my opinions on it or I might write an editorial on blisterthumbs.net about my thoughts on uh, the VGAs. I want to know your thoughts on how I conducted myself. If you were disappointed in the way that I handled it, I tried to do the best I could with the limited amount of time. I felt like maybe, uh, uh, you know, being your champion, that I could have done better, and I'm gonna be more prepared next time for this. But also, on the same token, how did you think about the situation that I was put in and how Jeff conducted himself? I don't think Jeff realized that he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to you guys. I don't think he realizes that, that he wasn't dismissing me. He was dismissing you guys. However, don't be a troll. Realize that the VGAs are getting better. I mean, they started with Jenna Jameson and Madden winning game of the year. And now we are actually getting what we want. No advertising in the names of the awards, augmented reality, stuff for gamers. Celebrities that actually game. Hosts that we like and care about. But still, there are some things that need fixing. So until then, continue to submit your comments, questions, suggestions about this year's show, and I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. So next time, Jeff, don't let my name be deceptive to you, okay? I can be a very reasonable person. Let's do this in a different way. Let's have a real sit-down interview. And I know that you really care about the VGAs and that you're just doing your job. But I'm just doing mine, is to be honest and to report the way I see it. So I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.